welcome back to my channel and today again I've got a samosa recipe for you which is chicken and cheese samosa this is a very simple recipe as you can see there are very few ingredients and this is liked by both elders as well as kids and you can pack them into your kids lunch boxes as well as you can freeze them and you can give to your guest or anyone so you can always keep it handy beforehand so let us go through the ingredients so here I have got about 300 grams of chicken which I have boiled and shredded I did not add any salt or black pepper then I have got one medium size of onion which I have finely chopped then I have got ginger uh, sorry this is garlic and uh, green chili paste I have taken about three garlic cloves and two green chilies you can always adjust uh, the amount according to your taste I've got a few mint leaves then I've got salt to taste. You have to go a bit easy on salt because we're going to add cheese also. So just you can always do a taste test and add the salt. Half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Then as the name suggests, we are also going to add in some mozzarella cheese or you can even add some um, cheddar cheese. And then I have got <clears throat> the samosa less oil. The oil is heated. So now I'm going to first add in the cumin seeds. We are just going to let it sizzle for some time. And then straight away I'm going to add the garlic and the chili paste and just mix now I'm going to add the finely chopped onions mix it we don't need to overcook them we don't need to brown them we don't need to make them soft I want to keep it a bit crunchy so now I'm going to add the shredded chicken the salt you can always add the salt according to your taste but remember that we're going to add uh, cheese towards there now in case if you want to skip the cheese you can always skip the cheese and make only the chicken samosas so in that case you can even add in some other flavorings like some vinegar some soya sauce some green chili sauce you may even add in some sweet corn or some spring onions so they are going to just enhance the taste so right now i'm just going to mix it on a high flame for about one or two seconds and then do a taste After test doing a taste test uh, the green chilies are a slightly less so i'm going to add uh, half a teaspoon of uh, black pepper powder you can even add in some more of green chili so i'm just adding some salt to taste and black pepper about half a teaspoon mixing here our stuffing is ready now i'm going to switch off the flame and then we are going to let it cool down completely then add cheese to this stuffing mix. is cooled down completely i've separated some stuffing to make without cheese and some with cheese so I'm going to just add in the cheese right now. Always add the cheese only after your stuffing is cold. Otherwise the cheese is going to melt down completely. I'm just going to add my whole wheat flour and water paste is ready. We're going to use this to seal the samosa. I'm folding it over, making it like a cone. Then I'm going to add one generous tablespoon of the filling. Flattening it out, making it like a triangle. Then just folding it over this line over here I'm going to fold it so that this point over here comes down and then on this part I'm going to apply the wheat flour paste and then tuck into this opening so see what a neat samosa you have I'll show you one more again I'm just going to with the help of my index finger and the thumb I'm just going to fold it over make sure that you don't have a small cone you have a big cone I'm going to add in a generous filling of the stuffing folding it over making sure that this line comes at the bottom then I have a triangle again over here then I'm going to tuck it inside and here our neat samosas are ready so likewise I'll do all the others so here a few of our samosas are ready and you can freeze them at this point and then whenever you want to remove them throw them throw them only into the fridge and then you can deep fry shallow fry them and uh, so right now i'm just going to deep fry and then serve i have deep fried the samosas and now you may serve them with any kind of chutney or ketchup and uh, do give it a try post me your comments and share my videos with your family and friends and do like us on facebook and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching my video